One of Microsoft's internally used business strategy phrase is EEE. Embrace, extend, extinguish, also known as exterminate. This video is for documentation preservation of some of Microsoft's business practices just until 2009. There would be more up to currently 2021, of course. This video is also a warning that the same or similar or also other techniques have been, are and will be used, partially even hidden in plain sight, to turn Minecraft, especially Minecraft Java Edition, into something that we, Minecraft Java Edition players, with our spirit of freedom, transparency and community, will not like, to put it nicely. A recent example for Microsoft hiding things in plain sight would be the XOID in telemetry, since snapshot 21W38A. As pointed out in the Microft 2 video, the XOID is not needed in order to improve game performance for Java 1.18. Which Moyang, however, in its post makes the current telemetry taken seem to be about solely. And I'm highly disappointed in Moyang that they did not inform the community who trusts them, who even partially absolutely loves them, what the XUID actually entails. And even if they will inform the community now, afterwards, if they even do it thoroughly, that's another thing which I would not count on that it would be. But even if Moyang informs community now afterwards, it will leave a really, really bad aftertaste, at the very least for me and some of my friends. If this is by Microsoft's order, or because Moyang wants to protect their colleagues in Redmond, you say, I don't know. But I always believed that, despite Moyang being Microsoft subsidiary, they still would share Minecraft Java Edition spirit of freedom, transparency and community. Be aware, regular consumers don't realize that business companies such as Microsoft plan for decades into the future. That's why most consumers, such as for example we players, don't recognize a threat usually until it's too late.